Hey guys, what's going on? Tito with Aloha Android, and this video is going to be kind of raw dog. I uh, just want to kind of jump into it. So, Android task killers, when and how to use them. I'm doing this video because I see the common misconception is still floating out there with people as far as Android task killers, when and how they, they should use them, and what they're used for. And I just want to inform people out there about how to use this uh, particular service and um, why it's actually not beneficial to anyone who has an Android device. The reason why it's not beneficial is because of exactly what it does. It kills off tasks or background processes, which for anyone who doesn't know Android, that's Android's selling point. The fact that you basically can have a app you know, in the forefront and have several applications in background is what Android is really good at doing. <clears throat> now, of course, there's that whole thing of if you have like 20 applications running in background, um, it's sapping up all your RAM and whatnot, and you're not going to be able to use another application or open another application because you don't have any RAM to support another application being open. And that right there is false. The way Android works is, is that like, let's say like, you know, you've gone into several different applications like Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, Meerkat, Google Plus, you know, uh, browser, Instagram. When those apps are in background, basically they're barely using any RAM at all whatsoever. It's, they're not running, proce they're not processing, they're not running tasks basically in background that's pretty heavy and extreme, like as if it was in the forefront. Okay, what happens is, is like, say you're in Instagram and, you know, you were commenting on someone's picture or whatever, and then you leave Instagram to open up Facebook. What it does is it pauses Instagram at that moment that you clicked out of it and it's running in background, but from the last place you were at. So say if you were at your friend's picture, this is why that if you leave Instagram, you go to Facebook and then you decide to go back to Instagram really quick to look at something. When it opens up, it's at that last place you were at where you commented on that person's photo or liked it, and it's not all the way back up on the top unless the app refreshes. It's because it's paused. It paused at the last point you were at in the application, and then it's going to reopen at that same point when you reopen that same application back up again to continue where you left off. If you want to refresh the app, it'll refresh. So that is how Android functions. That's the way it works. It's the, the, the misconception of that it's going to eat up all your RAM. No. And even if you have, you know, all these apps opened up, like I said, when you leave the app and it pauses it, it pauses it to open up uh, for another application. And if there's not enough RAM to support the application that you're opening up, it will automatically kill a background task just to open up room for a new application and all its functions. So therefore, really using a task killer is it's ridiculous to use especially another thing that people don't know where the whole thing of it's gonna save you battery life is the exact opposite it's actually gonna eat up your battery life because every time that you kill off background tasks Android is just gonna reopen up a whole list of tasks which means that it's going to eat up battery to open up those those tasks and to have the CPU actually process it is going to take up more battery. So while you're thinking that you're saving battery by killing off background tasks, you're actually eating battery because as soon as all of those background processes are killed, Android's going to open up a whole new set of them, and there, there goes your battery. Now the whole thing with RAM, because common misconception is, is that you need to have a lot of RAM, and you got to have a lot of free RAM in order for your device to function and run. That is absolutely not true. Uh, the point of RAM is to be used. Ask any geek and nerd out there that knows about random access memory and they will tell you the point of RAM is for it to be used. So free RAM is wasted RAM. Remember that that line that is widely used across any programmer, across any geek, tech head, computer whiz. Waste, you know, free RAM is wasted RAM. So the point of RAM is to, is to be used. Um, and if you don't, you know, if you want that much free RAM opened up, then you might as well not have a device that has a lot of RAM because what's the point? Free free RAM is not being used. It's the same as if like, you know, you were using 800 and let's say 800 megabytes of RAM out of one gig 
you wanted 500 free it's the same as you having a 512 megabyte of, of ram it's the same thing so what's the point um so yeah but when is it a good time to actually use a task killer well it, you know applications don't always function the way that they should some applications go rogue uh, sometimes there is this thing called memory leak and that is actually a good way to monitor what's going on in background in case if you think you have a memory leak you'll be able to tell if memory is being leaked um, if an app has gone rogue is doing things it's not supposed to be doing well then you can kill off that that process so then it can reopen and refresh and be better um, that's actually what a task killer should be used for is just for events like that but never to Think you're going to get better performance which is why and if you guys have experienced this let me know but if you killed off all your background tasks you notice that when you go into an application it's become faster but then after about two or three minutes it's starting to slow down get a little bit slower the reason why it's doing that is because it's reopening all those processes that you killed off so what's the point it's just going to reopen those same processes again that's how Android functions um, so anyways guys that's just pretty much you know what I wanted to share with you guys if you guys enjoyed it let me know by clicking that like button um, share this on social networks so you know you can uh, teach uh, your friends and family out there who are not aware of this and uh, yeah um, if you have not subscribed please do so so I will see you guys with another video thank you guys for watching have a good night